indicate whether the compounds in each set are constitutional isomers. Constitutional isomers are molecules that have the same exact formula, but they have a different connection and different structure, and because of that, they will be named differently. So let's go ahead and look at our examples and see whether they are constitutional isomers or not. The first thing we need to do is we need to write out our formula for each molecule and compare the formula. Are they the same or not? So let's write out how many carbons are here. There are two carbons and there is three hydrogens plus two is five plus one is six. So there is six hydrogens and there is one oxygen. What about the molecule on the right? We have two carbons. How many hydrogens? Six hydrogens and one oxygen. So the formula is indeed the same. Now, do they have a different structure? Well, we can notice that on the left, we have a functional group OH, but on the right, our oxygen is in between two carbons. Here, the oxygen is at the end of the chain and it's connected to a hydrogen, but here the oxygen is connected to two carbons. It's not at the end of the chain. Therefore, even though they have the same formula, they do have a different structure and different functional groups. This is actually an alcohol and this is an ether. And therefore, they must be constitutional isomers. So this one is a yes. Let's move on and take a look at B. How many carbons are here? We have three carbons, six hydrogens, and one oxygen. What about here we have? three carbons, we have three plus two, five plus one, six hydrogens and one oxygen. So the formula for the left and right compounds are the same. Do they have a different connection, different structure? Well, notice that on the left, my double bond O is on the second carbon, but on the right, my double bond O is on the first carbon. So the location of double bond O has changed and when we would name these molecules, they would have different names. This is actually also different functional groups. This C double bond O in between two carbons, which is a ketone, and this is C double bond O connected to a carbon and a hydrogen, which is an aldehyde. So these are constitutional isomers as well. Even though they have the same formula, they have different structure because double bond O is located on different carbons. Moving on to C, what do we see here? We have one, two, three carbons, and we have six hydrogens, and we have two oxygens. What about here? One, two, three carbons, and we have five plus one, six hydrogens, and we have two carbons. So again, both of these molecules have the same formula. Now, do they have the same connection? Well, notice that here we have C double bond O, O, H, but here we have C double bond O, O connected to a carbon. So their connection is different. Again, these are different functional groups. This is an ester and this is a carboxylic acid. So they will be named differently. And these are constitutional isomers because even though they have the same exact formula, they have different structure. And let's go ahead and go to D. Let's count our carbons. One, two, three, four. We have four carbons and we have three, four, six, seven, ten hydrogens. And we have one oxygen. What about here? We have one, two, three, four carbons. And we have three plus two is five plus three is eight. We have eight hydrogens and we have one oxygen. Let's just double check if I counted my hydrogens correctly. This is three plus one is four plus two is six. And then six plus four is 10. And here I have three plus two is five, plus three is eight. Okay, now we can see that our formula here is not right. 
our formulas do not match, and we said that the definition of constitutional, of constitutional isomers are molecules that have the same molecular formula but different structure. Since these two molecules do not have the same formula, they have a different number of hydrogens, they cannot be constitutional isomers. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring, and I really hope that you enjoyed my video.